Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm the lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 90 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning where we cover tech, coding, and some cool things that we're working on. And the cool thing we are going to cover today is Cisco U with my colleague, Kate. Kate, do you mind introducing yourself? Hi, everybody. I'm Kate Dignan. I'm one of the product managers working on Cisco U, specifically on the front-end user experience for our learners. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for joining us, Kate. So um, I know we've been working on Cisco U, and I wanted to give our snackers a preview on what they expect once we release it. What is Cisco U, first of all? Just a, a snippet. And we've been talking about it for a while. And just, you know, let's drill into like the, the For You page and look at what, what we have there. And so basically, Cisco U was born out of a realization that we wanted to build a learning experience for our learners that capitalizes on three main principles. The content that you all have come to rely upon from Cisco, personalized experience so you would get a curated learning experience that fits your needs and desires, and a community that we already have in place on Cisco Learning Network to help deepen and broaden your understanding. So from all that, Cisco U was born. We began the work on this almost two years ago now. And here's where we have landed. Um, I have a page up right now for Cisco U that shows the landing page. Right now, this experience is a gated experience, but you can sign up to join the experience. And we'll give you information on how to do that at the end of the discussion today. But you can see here, we've already started kind of articulating those needs that we hear our learners have for ways to better reinforce the understanding of Cisco certifications or even non-certifications, job-related, work-related solution training that you need. Um, on here, you can see we have ways for you to kind of begin to personalize your experience. Why are you here? What do you aim to get out of your time on Cisco U while you're learning our Cisco content? Um, how to personalize the training so that your training maybe takes less time than in the standard format that it's currently lived in for the past several years by doing some pre-training assessments. Um, also find ways to filter and search for things that are relevant to you and learn your way. And then, like I said, join a community. So if you're here for a CCNA certification, how do you join that community to ask questions and have questions answered that maybe you just don't have the time to dig through all the training to find? Um, so those are the ways that we've kind of leveraged Cisco U to start building that experience for our learners. You know, we've been part of certifications for four years now or so. And, you know, one of the biggest questions that we get from people, whether it be at events, whether it be online in the community, is how do I get started? <laughs> and I have to say, um, it is very clear uh, on this page how to get started and and really focus on the areas that um, people need to to move in the direction that they want to. Um, sometimes we'll get people that come in and it's crazy. They're like, well, I already did all this. How do I get to the next step? And I can see that you guys already have that in place. It's absolutely brilliant that you guys have thought of that. Um, and it's not the easiest thing to do. So I just wanted to comment and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just I'm so blown away by how simple this is, but how much you're providing in the front in the introduction so that people can get moving on on either their certifications or just learning in general. It's uh, really exciting seeing what you guys have here. Yeah, I have to say, as someone who pivoted into tech later in my career, um, going back, kind of going back to school uh, to train, transition into a new career, it is very overwhelming. Just where do I start? Who do I talk to? How do I make sure I'm going to someone that actually like isn't a fly by night training program that's going to just, you know, go yeah. under in a couple of years. And when I came on and heard the sheer number of articles of content that we have, which I think I heard was like 10,000 pieces of content like that alone, just like the stress of where do I begin to begin is overwhelming. And it, it's something I, I empathize deeply with because I have been there. So it really was a matter of like, how do we serve it up to our learners in a way that's not, I don't want to use the word scary, but not overwhelming. It's not overwhelming. We try not to make it overwhelming because there is so much to know where to start. So, you know, for you is kind of the beginning. So we've kind of welcomed you in. This is our, you know, our, our welcome mat, so to speak. And then you get into for you. And once you join Cisco, you for you becomes um, your landing page. 
Um, and this is where you start to get, you can see here, I've already got a personalized experience. So we're gonna kind of use the power of imagination and pretend nothing's here, day zero experience. And what you would do is you would have this onboarding survey or an interest survey that says, you know, hey, welcome, we're glad you're here. What do you wanna do while you're here? And this is where you have the ability to start curating your experience. And if you don't know what you're here for, you don't have to select anything. You can just click, I'm not sure yet, and bounce out and just start tooling around. I'm just gonna kind of select a few things and I'm gonna say that I'm not sure what certification I wanna get. Now, if you wanna get a certification, you can click that, but maybe you're coming in cold and you don't know what you wanna do. Um, based on that, you start getting a curated experience on this page. Um, you also get information on upcoming Cisco live events or other events that are happening in person. And you can learn more about Cisco certifications. If you're one of those people that says, I don't know what a certification is, we have this resource here for you right now, so you don't have to dig for it. Um, when you look at my, uh, for you, at the top, you see this button here that says my list. And you can see that these things have a blue bookmark. That just means those are things that in my previous you know, time here, because I've kind of cheated and I'm already someone who's been in the uh, platform for a while, um, these are things that I thought were interesting and I bookmarked. So you can see, you can remove or add. It's very familiar behavior. Again, trying not to like reinvent the wheel. This is behavior you see on pretty much any of the many apps you use probably to watch TV. Um, so you understand bookmarking, but if you don't, here's your tutorial. Um, and you can see here, we have things called learning paths. And we have things that are built. Uh, the learning path is basically modularized learning. So up to this point, if you wanted to do CCNA, it was just like a wall of content. Um, here we have modularized it. You can see it's broken out into courses labs. You know how much time you're going to need. And you can click into it. And I'll do that real quick here. And you can start to see how it is broken down. So if you're someone that's only got 90 minutes, uh, you know that the network security concept section, I can fit that in, let's go. Um, so those were kind of the ways that we wanted to make um, learning paths a little bit more easy for our learners to consume and easier for you to accomplish uh, getting through them um, and completing them. When you go into, if you're coming in here and you're interested into uh, looking at a certification, um, you will see that our learning path is matching our blueprints for that cert. So you don't have to keep looking at like, do I need to study this? Have I covered this? Have I not? And then what we're also doing as part of tailoring that experience for you is, and this is this is a feature that's coming out. It's not there yet today while well, Kate is showing, is the assessment and, uh, and the pre-assessments and post-assessments. So what you expect is when you go in, to take whether that's a, a you know a technology learning path or a certification learning path or a Cisco solution learning path, yeah, you get a tailored experience by taking answering a bunch of questions around the topic that we have, and based on that, we'll tailor that learning path to based on your answers. So you're not covering topics they already have the knowledge of, rather focus your time on the topics that you don't know. And so that's part of the personalized experience that we're doing within the learning path itself as well. With those assessments, you're now going into the actual exam itself with a lot more confidence than you potentially had been before. I know we had a history of having, um, you know, certification pre-exam or certification reviews and all those things, but I just felt those were kind of, um, you know, you had to jump between and it was always kind of this weird well, these questions don't seem right kind of things and it sounds like it's more consolidated as far as the the learning path to the assessment to the the uh, exam itself and so that's really exciting um because i know that that's been a struggle for for learners is saying do i actually know the thing that i'm going to be certified against um and and being prepared for that for that exam and not having to pay twice or three times to to pass the exam that's that's exactly. awesome definitely and you can see here i brought up the ccna learning path um here you can see it start to see the pre-assessments pouring in um and to kareem's point there'll be more and more of those as we continue to build this the uh platform but this is uh to both of your points you know way to a check your understanding do i know the thing i think i know and b i do know it 
now I don't have to do it again um, because we all know we're all busy. We've all got a lot of commitments and I don't want anybody to feel um, like they're wasting their time. You know, this is a, this is a platform here to benefit your life and improve your professional career. And there's nothing worse than feeling a little burnout because you feel like you're just spinning your wheels and not actually accomplishing much. So that's something we've been very mindful of, not creating that space by building these pre-assessments and post-assessments that help make sure you're where you need to be. You just need to sign up for early access and then you can go and, you know, tear it up and see what you think of the website and, and give us feedback if you want. And if there's anything we learned about people on the internet, they like to provide their opinions. I know. So, <laughs> um, Kate, we do have to wrap up, uh, unfortunately, but uh, if you wouldn't mind, you are a first time guest. And uh, those of you that are comfortable with Snack Minute know that any first time guest is asked the following question. Um, which superpower would you pick and why? I think I would probably pay, I know everybody probably says they wish they could fly. I think uh, breathing underwater would be good too. Oh, and largely that's both a new one, appeal. I think. It is. Yeah, well, you know, they both appeal because travel, you know, so like maybe I don't fly, but I just like swim under the ocean to go to like Australia or something <laughs> like that. But... <laughs> so I'm going to go with that so one because I like to be the one. Your superpower you know. game. Basically, I've always said if I could be reincarnated, I'd like to be a duck. So it kind of works the like ability to be above and below water. So I'm sticking with that, uh, that mindset. <laughs> Thanks for that, Kate. Thanks for joining us. Um, and everyone go check out uh, Cisco U, uh, poke around and uh, really deep dive into this new learning experience. Thank you, Snackers, and happy Valentine's Day.